The easiest example is the London Underground, right? Which, which is a fantastic thing for one purpose, one purpose alone, which is to help you get around London Underground. But nobody says that the London Underground is representing, or is representing truth, yeah? When you pop up from Leicester Square Station or uh, Piccadilly Circus, it doesn't look like a little black circle with a white dot in the centre connected by a brown line and a blue line and so on and so forth, yeah? It doesn't look anything like that. But that doesn't matter because the map has done its job. And the same thing is going on inside your mind all day long. We are making representation systems which are useful for the particular purpose that we build them for, yeah? They're like kind of rules of thumb that get us through the day. And so we do objectify. That's, that's what we do. So by objectifying, you're kind of assuming that you're outside of the system, that you're looking upon the system as if you're not part of the system. That's not true. So when you have problems, it's very, very important to realize that the map is not the system, that the rule of thumb that you're using might be kind of, sort of, a little bit right, but it's certainly not all the information and it's probably quite comprehensively wrong.